Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Google has combined Google Currents and Google Magazine into a single application called Google Newsstand. And in this video, we're going to see how that turned out. So how does this app work? The Currents part of the app allows you to populate your news with RSS feeds that interest you, while the magazine half lets you find and subscribe to your favorite magazines. The point is, Google now gives you the ability to consolidate your entire news feed into a single interface. The interface itself is very fluid. You can swipe between the various functions to get to what you want to get to. You can access feeds and magazines individually, or in the case of news feeds, one giant list of news. The design is lovely, and moving around the app takes but a moment to get used to. And that's really it, folks. If you if you've used the Google Current or Google Magazine application or any other RSS application for that matter, you have a pretty good idea of how this app actually works. You subscribe to feeds, get subscriptions to magazines, and you read or view it. People mourning the death of Google Reader now have a second big option aside from Feedly. The use of this app is fairly obvious. You subscribe to your favorite feeds and magazines and then read the content that gets released from those feeds and magazines. Again, easy peasy. So here is the good. The app is very beautifully done. Swiping between the various pages, the simplicity, the look, and the little stuff added in like animations make the app fun to use. It had every magazine and newsfeed that I searched for, including the obscure and small sites that I subscribe to, so users will not be without options for content to consume. Having the RSS feed in with the magazines app encourages people to check out the other side. RSS readers will likely check out magazines and vice versa. And here is the bad. If all you wanted was an RSS app or a magazine app, then you're obviously dealing with a lot of clutter that you didn't want. The good news is a little configuration can all but fix this. You cannot manage your magazine subscriptions from within the application. You'll be kicked out to the browser to deal with them there. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is a little inconvenient. The only other small nitpick is loading a feed for the first time. When I selected the Android Authority feed, it showed a single feed and no icon. After it loaded, it had numerous feeds and an icon, so it does get fixed, but it can make feeds look less valuable than they actually are at first. All in all, this is a mammoth improvement. RSS and magazines on Android are not the most popular services, and combining them not only gives current users of those services a chance to try something new, but adds value to entice newer users. There were a few problems here and there, but nothing bad enough to dissuade people from trying it out, so if you haven't done so already, you can find it in the Google Play Store. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. You can find a written companion to this video, along with our social media links in the video description. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.